Hey guys, my name is Nexus, and this is Fishmonger by Keith Kelly, May 2000. But it has a second date of December 2001, which is version 2, which is technically what I'm playing, but I'm doing it by the first date of release unless the version has changed it significantly. So to sum up this mission, it is a collection of small buildings. It has quite a bit more detail than most of the missions we've seen so far. Uh, it's got nice little uh, sort of almost wallpaper-like borders on a lot of the walls, which makes the insides of certain areas look really interesting and sophisticated. Um, but other than that, it has a few rough patches, especially with the gameplay. Um, it does have some very, very interesting technical effects. And I think it might have been one of the first missions to actually do some of those technical effects. So moving right along. Okay guys, here's normal, hard, and expert. Okay, so as you can see, some of the textures are a little bit messed up. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what causes that, but I think it's a corruption in the texture files of the mission. Uh, basically that the author has set aside uh, certain textures instead of the normal ones, but that they don't work properly. Oh, okay, I could just walk straight through that. Uh, so, aside from that, I kind of think the name of this mission is pretty funny. For those of you who don't know, a fishmonger typically sells who fish. Intruder, be <laughs> uh, so, a fishmonger usually sells fish. It's sort of a medieval term. Maybe renaissance, not sure. Um, but while it does mean someone who sells fish, it also means something a little bit more interesting than that. Which is basically a pimp. <sighs> yep. <laughs> A fishmonger is also known as a pimp. Or was, rather. The term is not really used much anymore in both its uh, actual term and its slang term. <coughs> so looking at this, there's a lot of really basic architecture going on. A lot of blocky, blocky things. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. It's not doing it a, f you know, a, f a disservice or anything. Um, it's just, I walk in here and see this and it's a little bit out of place to me. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty, it does, but it also looks weird with the uh, stone brick texture. But you know what? They put details in the books, and that's what matters. So I don't think that there's a secret book over here anywhere. Doesn't seem like it anyway. Why? And what? My age. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. I uh, I'm kind of wondering what gave me away because I can't actually hear them from up here. Okay. Uh, no healing potions. Do a flash bomb. Could use that. I'm not really inclined to though. Come on. Yeah, you can do it. Let's go. Oh, is, is that as far as you're gonna go? I shall find the village. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I'm not really sure what set them off other than probably my running around. It's possible that I made noise coming down these stairs, though. It is really hard to tell sometimes. What? 
Okay. This library is dedicated to Saint and Dean, the saint of communication. She must be psychic. That's all I'm gonna say about those statues. Okay. I didn't do that. I hope that doesn't set them off. Sometimes NPCs will be set off by broken banners. Um. But usually they're not going to be set off by ones you didn't break yourself, so I should be okay. Somebody else over here. Someone there? Yep. The noise That's stopped. why you're supposed to peek around corners. It was no doubt nothing. <clears throat> hmm. I thought I spied something. <laughs> I almost hit that. Hmm. That is the other thing I really dislike about certain missions is the close quarters with metal objects. Then again, most of those are actually trying to get you to ghost it, so I'm not that surprised. I do still find it annoying, though. That, that also just looks really out of place for this. I made it... okay. It's weird. I don't know why these are back here. That's a button. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, I'm just testing everything. I'm always curious what people uh, do with certain things and if they intend it to be that way or not. So far, though, it's not really looking like they intended for those buttons to do anything. They're just there. That's empty. So I'm not sure if I've explained this before, but the, uh, the white effect is caused by a missing texture. Missing textures generally show up as white. Or was it transparent ones? So that had something to do with a mine and some kind of report. Um, it also had to do with somebody losing a key to the fishmonger's house, which could mean one of two things. And uh, I'm not really sure what that would have to do with the hammerites in either case. So I don't know. I like how these are hexagonal hallways. It's always struck me as weird as what brushes people use and whether or not they justify using them. Uh, hi, I'd like to be hidden, thanks. Welp. I probably should have put that torch out, honestly. I wonder what's down here. Hand soon me I'll have to read that later. Gonna have to take care of this guy. Yeah, un <laughs> unfortunately I don't know anything particularly interesting about this mission. Uh, I looked for it, found a thread on it, looked normal. Nothing too unusual. Nothing like the last one. Oh boy, okay, let's go find a door. If your first attempt does not work, you must find a door. <sighs> Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. Yeah, no, I I can. Stand and face me, villain. <sighs> Where went he? I'm over here. Cease thy door. 
Am I gonna end up accidentally murdering this guy before actually knocking him out? Okay, well, that's a door. I always feel really bad when I do that, but I am trying to get through these faster than normal. It's why, aside from the fact that I'd be super bad at it, it's part of why I don't ghost, is I'd rather do it quickly. They, they need to make ten master keys. Interesting. Can't grab that. I'm always afraid of going too close to any of those kind of things that hold lava because they usually hurt if they, if you touch them. Which is uh, kind of a failing of some authors is that they don't notice that something has a, a hurt damage on it. And I, I personally find it annoying that I have to skirt around certain things uh, in order to actually get anywhere occasionally. Not for every mission, not even for this one, just... Sometimes, man. Uh... I'm sorry, is... Is that a fire elemental? Well then... I think they did that on purpose. I was mainly going to be... A little bit surprised that they actually went to the trouble of taking out the AI that made them angry with the uh, hammerites, but this works too. I do hear a spider. Ah, oh, it's just a baby. A couple babies, actually. Oh, I am I missing a key somewhere? Okay, so what does the key oh, oh, oops. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I'll leave that in just cuz, but, uh, let's go find out what this key is to. I don't remember when I picked that up. Oh, no, now I remember where I got it from. I got it from that box where I heard the key sound and was confused because I didn't get a key and I hadn't used a key. That's why you probably shouldn't put multiple different items in the same box unless you have to. Okay, so this has opened up the fishmonger's house, most likely, given that there's a fish on the door. Uh. Hang on. Why? Okay, that's interesting. Also, basketball. Basketballs are the best. Uh. So I'm not really sure where the moss came from. A little bit strange. Okay, let's get you as well. I hear somebody moving. I should probably get rid of these guys. One. And two. Okay, let's see. Other doors. That's just the door. That's just that door. I like I like this this room a lot better than the other room. Uh series of rooms that we were in. Okay, so that told us the rules for the guards here. And the basics of it, the only thing that I really care about is the fact that they're not allowed in the basement. Because magic is done there. Which is interesting. Oh. Okay. This is a nice place. God damn it. Okay. And what is this? Stairs of some kind? Yep, stairs down. I think we should go upstairs before going downstairs. If it will let me. 
Whether they be stone or flesh. Okay, so this door is probably going upstairs and is also locked for some unknown reason. Actually, no, I hear spiders. No, nope, it goes upstairs. Okay, a little bit strange. But see, there's more moss here. How does that work? Also, there's a skull in that, which is kind of weird. Dang it, I hate those things. But yeah, where does this moss come from? What, What is that supposed to mean? It's also over here. And it definitely disappeared. Did I miss something? No. Okay, well, upstairs it is. Ah, okay. Don't know what that is. I'm liking the border at the bottom of the wall here. Please open towards me. Awesome. What? Okay, I guess those are just lights. It's, uh... If thou be there, be speak mm. thyself. All is silence I'm now. gonna get caught. I'll just keep that propped open. For just a little bit. Whoops! That guy's gonna be coming through that door. <laughs> That's not good for me. Vigilance is our shield. Okay. Is he not actually going to come through the door? Okay. Better. <laughs> so, I think the spider's out on that balcony. At a guess. I don't know what that did either, honestly. Nothing behind these. This is a pretty simple mission, honestly. Just a little bit confusing. I don't really know why I'm doing certain things. Oh, hey, key. Totally didn't notice that. Oh. Oh, now I get the reference. Uh, okay, I don't know what the point of that was. Uh, ooh, another button. I hear noises. Uh, so, so to sum up that uh, little interlude, that little book was mentioning that the completion. Uh, sorry, it was mentioning that a golem was completed. Um, a golem, as I imagine most people here are aware, is typically made of some kind of earth, usually clay. Uh, the first real, real legend about it is an old Jewish tale, which had to do with a clay golem, and I honestly don't remember any of the specifics of it. I forgot to go downstairs. Um, I don't remember the specifics of why that golem was made, but it was, and I think it had something to do with defeating the enemies of the of the Jewish people. It's kind of like a fairy tale of sorts, so it can be a little bit weird. Uh, you know, that kind of looks a little bit suspicious. So... <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that startled me. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh... Uh... Okay, what do I do? I just wanted to tell my story about golems. Oh. Yeah, now I see you moving. What? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I broke it. Cool. Um. Am I even capable of taking that at all? Okay, yeah, no, it basically just saw me, and that's how that works. Cool, I got it. Uh, yeah, so golems! <laughs> uh, 
I don't know if I've completed all my objectives. But golems, um, <laughs> let's not get hit by it. Because I'm trying to tell a story, man. Okay, let's try and be safe here. That's, that's pretty neat, I gotta say. So, okay, so I do have to destroy it. I need to go back to that place. Sam is probably in that place, and I need a lot of loot. Okay, good to know. Uh, so Golem. Yeah, the Jewish tale. Something or other. I honestly don't remember anymore. Um... I'll have to destroy that somehow. Whoop, what was that? Nope, 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 nope. Uh, yeah, it's coming through the front door. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Uh, so I'm having issues trying to destroy this golem, so I'm gonna leave that for now. He'll, he'll end up back where he should be, so it's alright. Ah, uh, she's the golem story. I don't know where I was going with that. And I don't remember what point I left off at. Especially because I'm going to have to edit out quite a bit now. That sounds super gross, by the way. I, I, don't, I don't know what that makes me think of, but that just... Uh, it makes me want to barf. Let's see. Uh, is it going to be holy water that does it? Uh, bleh. So anyway... The Jewish story. I was actually starting to wonder if the, uh... Oh, cool, I can get in here. I was actually wondering if the story about the golem was made by someone who was a fishmonger. And I don't remember uh, if that was the case, but that would actually make a, a sense. I'm now going to be afraid of rocks for, like, the longest time. Because that actually did startle me, despite knowing that it existed. It is different than actually having to realize exactly where it is. Uh, there are quite a few missions that actually do that pretty well. But I don't want to say what they are. The ones, the few that I do remember that have, you know, unexpected little jump scares like that. Uh, they're actually pretty good. And I'll probably end up giving warnings before playing them. Because they're that kind of, uh mission that you need to play through yourself. I just got the weirdest sense of deja vu right now. It's that kind where you're like, yeah, I remember this place, but I'm pretty sure it didn't exist here. Pretty sure that was supposed to be somewhere else, but no, apparently this is the place. Which, of course, always sounds weird when you're trying to explain it to somebody, because you're like, No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. It never happened here. And yet, here it is. I'm thinking of... Wait, did I play that one? No. There's no way I played that one already. That's gotta be, like, 2004. I don't even know what it's called, so ignore me. Um... But it had not uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, so I have a thing about spiders. I don't know if anyone's realized that yet, but spiders creep me out. I do not like them. Ah, uh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna die. Ah. Okay, so there's a spider up there that I got killed by. And that would be why. They modified the uh, purple bolt to be fire, which is scary. Uh, uh, okay. This is just one surprise after another. Uh, that zombie has water on him. That's kind of strange. Thanks for this. I have found my buddy. I could kill all these guys, and I'm pretty tempted to. I'm dead. King, next thing, zombies. So, uh, he ended up starving here. Kind of unfortunate, but not surprising. Uh, 
I don't really like how his body is just in my way, but there's really nothing that I can do about that. I would like to take my healing potion now. I'm going to ignore those. And whoop! Do I win? Yeah, I win. Okay, so zombies are safely locked away. What is this place? Okay. You know this uh this potion this potion looks a lot bigger than it should be. Very suspicious of traps now. <laughs> you get hit by one and you're just wondering where the next one is every other time. Is there another spider? <gasps> yep, there he is. Good to know. Uh, okay, well, I'll just approach this from a different angle then. Hello, spider. There's rocks there, too. Everything is uh, suspicious. Okay. This... This has got to be a trap. Or, or not, I guess. Definitely more extensive of a mission than I realized initially. Uh. Hmm? Ah, there he is. Why are there so many spiders? Okay. Oh, good, they got me more arrows. I'm quite grateful for that. This seems like it's just the right right amount of difficulty. If that sounds odd, it's a little bit strange. Well, look. Oh, that's huh. I'm watching my blackjack right now. It's uh interesting how the light is uh <laughs> it it's cool to see it when the textures are white because you can see the dynamic changes in light on objects that you're holding. Like if you see complete darkness starts to fade only at the tip, etc., etc. It it's pretty cool actually. Uh especially when you consider how old this game is just it it's pretty cool that they managed to do something like that so long ago. Okay, so this... Okay. Oh. Okay. So, totally didn't notice that I got a couple objectives. I thought that those were objective completed. What did that do? Okay. I'll come back then. Uh, so I didn't even notice that I have to kill the zombies over there. I was just not paying attention. Which is entirely my fault. Now I gotta backtrack and nobody likes when I do that. I imagine. There's too many rocks here. Okay, holy water. Hello, I'm going to murder you all. Murder. And... Why do I have so many of these? Okay. Always an odd thing when you kill a zombie and it explodes, the uh, attachment stays in place because you are actually getting a completely different uh, entity of sorts when you kill a zombie because it explodes into chunks. So I think the way it works is it despawns the actual uh, animated body 
and then spawns in the chunks along with a small explosion. Programming. Uh, I'm gonna hazard a guess that I need to put out this fire given the, uh, okay. I was gonna say, given the little note I got that said something about dousing the gate, I assumed that that would be the case, but apparently not. So let's watch me just stumble around trying to find out what the actual answer is. Unless I decide to cut it, in which case, yeah, I don't know, you're not gonna see this anyway, what do you care? What's that noise? Ah, okay, wind. Uh, wait, I've been here. Okay. Good to know. I have a puppy who is very steadily driving me. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the dog is not very happy with my performance, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'm quite grateful for the healing potions. I could have just reloaded that, I suppose. Really, dog? He's, he's uh, itching himself on his back. And he's making little content noises that dogs make when they itch themselves. It seems like a bad idea to stand on this, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm not really sure why it's here or what it's here for, but it it is. What what is this for? Okay, well, probably opens up from the other side. Let's go find. I don't know, something? Um, I don't know, this is why I prefer uh, Thief 2, honestly, is that it will actually give me some feedback when I complete objectives so that I can usually find out if I'm actually doing something correctly. Uh, well, I don't know. I can't really crouch jump. It's not really made for crouch jumping. An attempt to at crouch jump. It's probably not going to work though. I'm not sure what that's opening. So. I've got to be missing something. Something really obvious too. Because you know it's going to be something obvious. I can see it from here. Do I need to go from... No, that wouldn't work. What if I took this with me to the room? Wait a minute. Hang on. The gate needs to be well greased. Wait, did I... What is this? Okay, the holder of the talisman is... Oh. Good job, me. The holder of the talisman is the only person who can enter. So it was here the whole time then. I see. I feel like when I take that, some, you know, stuff is gonna happen that I don't really want to happen. Probably gonna be fire elementals. Oh. Well, I guess I can be pleasantly surprised for once. Okay. So let's let's try this door again over here. Why didn't I go down that way? Wait, wait, no. You're going the wrong way. Why didn't I go down that way though? Or with that one. Yeah. The one the one not that one. Okay, let's try this. Yay! Success! 
So apparently some dude didn't do his job. He didn't oil that gate very well. Yeah. What is this? What kind of craziness is going on here? Nothing good, I can- oh, oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> what was that? Okay, well, they don't seem to have noticed me, so that's a plus. Okay, so hang on. <laughs> Objectives. Uh, use holy water to destroy the gate. So I need to destroy the gate, it says. Screw you. Haha, <laughs> you got hit by the skull and it looks like it hurts. That guy's definitely dead. Oh jeez, no! No, no! I didn't ask for this! Uh, okay, so this is quite a bit more difficult than I would like it to be. Not the flash bombs, thanks. Not that. This. There is a lot of fire going on here. <laughs> so this is probably gonna be a very strange episode because I'm already at the end. I feel confident in in this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, what just had? Uh, what is going on? Make it stop. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. No, this isn't cool. No, seriously. There we go. There we go. Everybody's happy. Everything's calm. We're all just gonna sit here. We destroyed the portal. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fire elementals, everybody. I don't know what's up with the skull, though. I really want to try and catch it. But I'm pretty sure it'll hurt me. So now I have to go destroy the golem. Which I don't actually know how to do. This, this is gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, where's the exit? I said that's the only thing. Yeah. Okay, golem is in fact the only thing I have to do aside from returning to my starting location, which is good. I still don't know what that little platform thing was for. That's okay. I can live with not knowing. Huh. I see. Isn't that how I got here, though? Yeah? That, that was how I got here. Oh, boy. Uh, do you have an exit? Nope. Do you have an exit? Nope. Yikes. Uh... No, this isn't working. Mm. So I can't imagine that a fire arrow would work either. Um... I didn't see an exit where that skull and stuff was. Let's try this anyway. Yep, didn't work. Okay, let's go back to the trap door, actually. That might be an idea. Stupid hole in the floor. Okay, well. Interesting. <laughs> it loses all momentum. That's funny. Okay, let's try a fire arrow. See what happens. Yay! Fire so Oh, hey, now I know where this is. So I can't imagine that this is too terribly ghostable. Uh, I heard a door open. 
I'm gonna bet it was the golem that I don't know how to destroy. Well, I don't hear it squishing. What door is this? Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, I hear that golem. Uh, but yeah, they didn't really give me an idea of what would destroy it. One fire arrow didn't help. But it is possible that many would. But what I'm gonna do is try this first. Nope. Nope. Uh. Come on. Hi. Uh, I'm just trying to right click him to see if I can. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that was that was a rather quick death. Okay. Hi. Uh, I could just leave it here, I guess. I only missed 200 loot. I'm gonna go back and see if I can kill that, though. Uh, what have I got that might help here? Okay, let's try saving. Did it go back to sleep? Okay. <coughs> I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm doing any damage to it, really. I, I would not hesitate to say that I am doing no damage to it whatsoever. Holy water. Uh, I could try holy water, I suppose. Holy water. There it is. Still got 14 of these things. Ah, that did it. Well... Okay, so let's go over this in a little bit more detail. 35 minutes to pick up. Slightly under 200 loot not taken. Mm. It's always little nitty nitty gritty rings usually that I miss. Uh, I find those really hard to see unless I'm really looking hard for them. Um, but let's see. Yeah, that golem was actually pretty interesting. There's certainly a lot of really interesting effects going on. Uh, aesthetics wise, definitely pretty up there. Uh, some of it's a little bit weird, like that whole library section with the brick and then that one section that looked like wallpaper, but it, I don't even know what it was. It was just a texture that looked nice, but didn't really look like it belonged there. But they, they did it pretty well in other places. Um, and I actually really like that someone took the time to go, you know, with that kind of detail honestly. Um, I don't know, it's made it a lot... It, I can definitely see like the quality of fan missions rising over time, and that's something that really makes me excited, honestly, because it's always, it's always interesting to go back and see just how much they can do when you realize that that's, you know, almost 15 years ago, and they're using like Pentium 2 processors and didn't even have, you know, anywhere close to terabyte hard drives. Um, so, it, I don't know, it's always interesting to, like, especially go back from old to new missions, you know, and back and forth and realize, wow, they only had this much, you know, to work with back then, or else they'd lag out the whole system and nobody would be able to play it, so. Uh, pretty solid mission, though. Uh, so I will see you guys next time.